Heike Kammerlingonis was a Dutch physicist and Nobel laureate. He exploited the hampson lynn cycle to investigate how materials behave when cooled to nearly absolute zero and later to liquefy helium for the first time. His production of extreme cryogenic temperatures led to his discovery of superconductivity in 1911. For certain materials, electrical resistance abruptly vanishes at very low temperatures. Biography Early years Kamerlingonis was born in Groningen, Netherlands. His father, Harm Kamerlingonis, was a brickworks owner. His mother was Anna Gerd Nicoas of Arnhem. In 1870, Kamerlingonis attended the University of Groningen. He studied under Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff at the University of Heidelberg from 1871 to 1873. Again at Groningen, he obtained his master's in 1878 and a doctorate in 1879. His thesis was New Weber Widges and Vorder as Wettling der AARDE. From 1878 to 1882 he was assistant to Johannes Boscher, the director of the Delft Polytechnic, for whom he substituted as lecturer in 1881 and 1882. Family He was married to Maria Adriana Wilhelmina Elizabeth B. Levelde and had one child, named Albert. His brother Menzo Camerlingonis was a fairly well-known painter, while his sister Jenny married another famous painter, Floris Verster, University of Leiden. From 1882 to 1923 Camerlingonis served as professor of experimental physics at the University of Leiden. In 1904 he founded a very large cryogenics laboratory and invited other researchers to the location, which made him highly regarded in the scientific community. The laboratory is known now as Camerlingonis Laboratory. Only one year after his appointment as professor he became member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Liquefaction of helium On 10 July 1908, he was the first to liquefy helium, using several pre-cooling stages and the hampson lynn cycle based on the joule thomson effect. This way he lowered the temperature to the boiling point of helium. By reducing the pressure of the liquid helium he achieved a temperature near 1.5 K. These were the coldest temperatures achieved on Earth at the time. The equipment employed is at the Bohr Harvey Museum in Leiden. Superconductivity In 1911 Camerlingonis measured the electrical conductivity of pure metals at very low temperatures. Some scientists, such as William Thomson, believed that electrons flowing through a conductor would come to a complete halt or, in other words, metal resistivity would become infinitely large at absolute zero. Others, including Camerlingonis, felt that a conductor's electrical resistance would steadily decrease and drop to nil. Augustus Mathewson pointed out when the temperature decreases, the metal conductivity usually improves or in other words, the electrical resistivity usually decreases with a decrease of temperature. On 8 April 1911, Camerlingonis found that at 4.2 K the resistance in a solid mercury wire immersed in liquid helium suddenly vanished. He immediately realized the significance of the discovery. He reported that mercury has passed into a new state which on account of its extraordinary electrical properties may be called the superconductive state. He published more articles about the phenomenon, initially referring to it as superconductivity and, only later adopting the term, superconductivity. Camerlingonis received widespread recognition for his work including the 1913 Nobel Prize in Physics for his investigations on the properties of matter at low temperatures which led, inter alia, to the production of liquid helium. Legacy Some of the instruments he devised for his experiments can be seen at the Bohr Harvey Museum in Leiden. The apparatus he used to first liquefy helium is on display in the lobby of the physics department at Leiden University, where the low-temperature lab is also named in his honor. His student and successor as director of the lab Willem Hendrik Heesum was the first person who was able to solidify helium in 1926. 
The former Camelingonis Laboratory Building is currently the law faculty at Leiden University and is known as Camelingonis Gebau, often shortened to KOG. The current science faculty has a Camelingonis Laboratorium, named after him, as well as a plaque and several machines used by Camelingonis in the main hall of the physics department. The Onus effect referring to the creeping of superfluid helium is named in his honor. The crater Cameling Onus on the moon is named after him. Onus is also credited with coining the word enthalpy. Ons' discovery of superconductivity was named an IEEE milestone in 2011. Honors and awards. Matucci Medal. Rumford Medal. Nobel Prize in Physics. Franklin Medal. Selected Publications. Camelingonus H. New Weber Widges and Vorder as Wettling der Aarde, Ph.D. Dissertation. Groningen, Netherlands, 1879. Camelingonus H. Algamine Theory der Vuistoffen, Amsterdam, A.K.A.D. The Handel, 21, 1881. Camelingonus H. On the Cryogenic Laboratory at Leiden and on the production of very low temperature. Cum. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, 14, 1894. Camelingonus H. Theorie Generale der Eliacute T. A. T. Fluida. Harlem March. Nil. 30, 1896. Camelingonus H. Further experiments with liquid helium. C. On the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. IV. The resistance of pure mercury at helium temperatures. Cum. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 120b, 1911. Camelingonus H. Further experiments with liquid helium. D. On the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. V. The disappearance of the resistance of mercury. Cum. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 122b, 1911. Camelingonus H. Further experiments with liquid helium. G. On the electrical resistance of pure metals, etc. V. On the sudden change in the rate at which the resistance of mercury disappears. Cum. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden. No. 124 C. 1911. Camelingonus H. On the lowest temperature yet obtained. Cum. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 159, 1922.